As a kid, I've always been overweight. When I was 20, I reached 140 kilos. Ain't no way you bring me down. Thought that you could keep me under. But I've been lifted up from the ground. And just in case you ever wonder. Please tell us a little bit about your background. Just during high school was when teachers started to tell me you're overweight, you need to lose weight. And the only way they knew how was like really strict diets and like cardio and stuff I didn't like as a kid. So I started to rebel. When I was 20, I reached 140 kilos and my grandma started to get more sick. Uh, her sickness was contributed a little bit by her weight. We don't know for sure because the hospital didn't tell us. She passed away not, sh not, not much later after. That's uh, when I decided to lose weight because I saw what happened to my grandmother and I didn't want to get sick either. At first I started going to the gym. I didn't really change my diet yet, but I saw that I lost weight. I did a little bit of weightlifting. I didn't know what it was. And that's when I found kickboxing. When I started kickboxing, the weight melted off. And by, I think it was before COVID, I weighed 70 kilos. Then COVID ended and I got in seasonal depression and I gained weight to uh, last year I was 95 kilos again. And now I came back, I'm back to 90. What brings you to Muay Thai? Back in the gym, we started watching like uh, K1 kickboxing matches online on television. Uh, we also went to a few matches ourselves. That's when we started hearing word about Muay Thai. We started watching those matches as well. And then I started like researching on the internet, like what is Muay Thai? Uh, what is the difference between Muay Thai and kickboxing? That's when I found Punch It. So last year I was able to come to Punch It. I fell in love with the gym and with the sport and I came back this year. So yeah, and I'm already planning on coming back next year. What challenges did you face while going on a weight loss journey? I wasn't disciplined enough at first. So I kept falling off the wagon. Sometimes I gained a little bit of weight. Sometimes I lost a little bit of more weight and uh, that's just when something clicked and I knew I need to work on my nutrition. What suggestion would you want to give to someone who's, let's say, a bit heavier? What step did it need to take to start? Look at your nutrition first, because like I said before, it's uh, you can work out how much you want, but if your diet is not great, you're not going to lose anything long term. And if you want to lose weight long term, you really need to look at your diet. I'm not saying you need to eat like a child, like 1200 calories, because that's not healthy either. You need to eat at least three normal meals a day. And then you can have a few snacks. You can even have a cheat meal a, a, in a week, but never go overboard. You really need to have discipline in eating. And then if that ha finds like a plateau, you can always look at like, maybe I need to work out more and maybe I'm still not like perfect with my diet, but we're also human. So we do need to find like a middle way with what's to work for us. How do you feel about your fights? So I fought before, but that wasn't Muay Thai. It was K1 kickboxing. I lost my fight, sadly. So I'm a little nervous about it because we were going to actually fight at 85 kilos. I couldn't make that in the amount of time that I was here. So we've decided on 90. I'm trying to stay on weight. It's a little bit hard, but I'm doing my best. I'm doing everything I can. And tomorrow I want to go into the fight as a blank canvas and just enjoy the fight, enjoy the experience, learn from it. And if I lose, I lose. If I win, that's great. And I'll take the experience to with me and then come back next year and maybe fight again.
thought that you could keep me under But I've been lifted up from the ground And just in case you ever wonder I felt dizzy, but I had to stay up Hey Then you're okay or not? I'm okay, I'm okay Not take off for fun No, yeah. I didn't go down I stay up Thank you so much You're so strong, you're so strong Oh, daddy, see you Almost, almost lost my half guard. Yeah. I kept it in, but I also almost lost it. I'm very happy I came this year and I will come back again and win next year again. <laughs>